Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. This is my first video, so just bear with me a bit. <laughs> I'm gonna do a voiceover, so you know, it's a little bit less daunting rather than talking to the camera for the first time. <laughs> but yeah, this video is gonna be um, me doing my hair and makeup, so just grab a cup of tea, sit down, do your makeup, do your hair with me, and let's go. So I'm starting off using the Maybelline Baby Skin Primer. I originally just put that all in my T-zone and just blend it all into my whole face. <laughs> if anyone's got any recommendations for other primers, that'd be cool because I don't really have any others. I've got one more, but I don't really use that one. So yeah, any recommendations would be cool. Then I like to go in with my L'Oreal True Match foundation and then mix in a little bit of my Rimmel Lasting Finish foundation just because the True Match is a little bit too dark and the other one's a little bit too light so mix them together and it seems to be okay, I don't know. And then I just blend that in with a damp beauty blender and then just go over it with my Real Techniques brush, make sure there's no lines and that's it. So after that, I then go in with my Collection Lost Imperfection Concealer in the shade Fair. Just put that under my eyes and on the edges of my eyes to lift my face. And then on my forehead, around my nose and on my chin. And then again, I blend that in with my beauty blender. Also, um, ignore that cut by my eye. I actually scratched myself in my sleep, so um, ignore that. I then use my Revolution Translucent Loose Powder. Just put that under my eyes with my Morphe E3 brush. Then go in with some contour. I just put that in my cheekbones, forehead, bit jawline. contour my nose but I'm not really that good at that so let's just ignore that shall we I also just bake a little bit of my nose contour with the same translucent powder Then for bronzer, I use the iHeart Revolution Cinnamon Sugar Bronzer. The packaging just really amuses me because it's squishy. And I put that all over my cheekbones, forehead, and bend it down my neck, obviously. I then sweep away the loose powder on my nose. And 
and then I go on to blusher which is the I Heart Revolution Blushing Hearts blusher then put that onto my cheekbone using my Real Techniques brush Then for highlight, I go in with the MUA Vivid Baked Highlighter. I'm not actually sure what shade it's in, but it's very white and bright. <laughs> and I put that all over my cheekbones, on my nose, my cupid's bow, and a little bit on my forehead. Then for brows, I actually used an old MUA eyeshadow palette. And then just go in with a little angled brush and just fill in them a little bit, but not really anything too much. The Rimmel Brow This Way Brow Gel, which is a little bit brown, so just to set them in place. So time for some eyeshadow. I then go in with the NYX Ultimate Warm Neutrals palette. And I just go in with the two exact same shades that I used on my eyelid for my under eye. And then for my inner corner, I use the shades at the top of the palette. curl my eyelashes because I do that all the time. Time for lashes finally. I use the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara in black which is such a good mascara. Just look at the difference in that mascara. I love it. You cannot go wrong.
So for lips, I use the MAC Boldly Bare Lip Liner and apply that all over my lips, slightly overline the top lips, but nothing really major. And then for lipstick, I go in with the MAC Velvet Teddy Lipstick. Then finally to set my face I use the Revolution Sport Fix setting spray and I just spray that all over my face. Okay so now that I've done my makeup I'm going to be straightening my hair. I'm going to use a Tresemme Heat Defend Care and Protect Heat Spray. I just section my hair in two and clip in the top half up. I put my straighteners on 180 degrees and then I just straighten my hair. Okay, so that is the end of my video. I really hope you liked it. Um, it would mean a lot to me if you subscribed and liked the video. Uh, maybe commented down below what you thought. Yeah, so I'll see you next time for another video. Bye.